what is up guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to animate um, a webcam uh, so this is what we're going to be making today you see with the electric effects and the shine and i also animated the icons a little bit to add some more details so yeah before you start in um, after effects you would have your webcam in photoshop so let's hop in photoshop all right guys so now we're in photoshop as you can see i have the um, overlay here already made and it was sent to me by a friend just to edit on this tutorial so um when he sent it to me the layers were all over the place because you know when you're making an overlay you have a different a lot of different little elements so once you're done making your overlay what you want to do is um gather all the stuff that you want to animate and uh put them on on the top layers or um put a color next to them so you remember them and then just merge all the other layers that you're not going to be animating this will make the process way simpler and uh, way easier to do so for example here i um have the dots that i want to animate motorcycle passing by i have the um, dot accents that i want to animate and um i put it on the top layer and i have the two icons the subscribe and donate and then i have the logo of course and then here is where i merged everything which is the overlay itself and in the back we have the accents which i also decided not to merge so after you've done that you can just put it all in a folder and um, make sure it has no background so you can just delete the background and just hit save and that's all for Photoshop now we can move to After Effects alright so once you open up After Effects you want to open up the folder that will be provided in the description and um, you want to drag in your save your save file and these two effects which we'll be using today and just drag it right here into the footage the project uh, tab and after you do that you can just go ahead and close that now that you have all your files in your project tab you want to create a new composition called webcam or whatever you want to call it and just drag your save file into the composition so now we have our webcam here and now we want to animate it but it's only one file so if you see a dot psd here what you want to do is right click and convert to layered comp this will convert it to exactly the the layers that you created in photoshop so once you go inside of that composition you might have another composition because you put everything inside of a folder but if you didn't you won't have to do this you can skip this step so you just open up this composition too and now as you can see we have the layers that we made in uh, photoshop so now we want to go ahead and animate them so first of all you want to create a new solid either right click and go to so new and click solid or it, it doesn't matter the color you choose or you can just go here layer new solid now what you want to do is just hide this layer drag it behind your um behind your webcam but over the accents if your webcam has accents and uh, what we're going to be using is a free plugin called saber and you can download it the download link will be in the description so you just want to drag it onto the layer now we won't touch the settings for now what we're going to do is first of all mask the accents that we have here so we can have um, the saber traveling through that mask so while you have the layer selected you want to go to the pen tool or g on your keyboard and once you do that you might want to zoom in and just pen tool mask the accent it doesn't have to be extremely precise so there we go Voila. Let me just fix this. All 
all right so once you have that let me bring this a little further to the logo so we can travel all the way there all right so once you have your mask done done you just want to um now activate the layer because you hit it just click the eye right here and now as you can see it doesn't really follow the mask we just made and to fix that you want to go and customize core core type change from saber to layer mask and now as you can see it will follow the the mask we just made and the preset that we want to be that i'm going to be using for this tutorial is um electric because i want an electric uh type of flow going through it and i want to lower all of these because uh we don't want it invading the the video so just lower everything now all of this may vary depending on uh the webcam that you're working on so it's more like um trial and error situation so yeah i think this is good enough and now we want to change the color and there we go so now that we have the color we have everything set up it's already starting to look good now we want to start keyframing it all right guys now that you have the color and you have your um your saber here what you want to do is put your end offset to zero and keyframe it and put your uh, start offset to zero and keyframe it at zero frames and then just go to one and what you want to do is put your end offset at 100 so when you've done that you want to go about 15 more frames out and put your start offset to 100 so now what we have here is our electric animation and um, to make this look good we can edit it in the graph editor so you just want to select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and what we're going to do is click this for the to show the graph editor and you can see we have the graph of our animation so click the selection tool select all the frames here and just drag it all the way out to the other side so now we have a better electric animation so now we only have this on one side and we want it on both sides so to do that you want to click on the layer that you can just rename saber control copy control v or command copy command v press the 3d just check the this cube right here on the second one that you just made click r on the layer and on the y rotation just put one right there oh my bad uh it's 180 not one so now as you can see normally we should have both sabers and if you don't see the other saber after you've done this step is because the um, sabers actually aren't transparent and to make them transparent you just want to go into render settings composite settings and put it transparent and do the same thing with the other one render settings composite setting transparent all right so now you have your electric flow going down and we want to add some effects to the logo now so these are those, these two effects that I provided um, just drag them into the composition make sure they're over every layer you want to go to one because that's where your saber hits and um, just scale these down to about eight eight percent and center them to your logo to your mascot logo so now as you can see we have this little effect going on when the saber hits and you want to rotate one to about 45 and then now you, you can see that it's blue but we want yellow and to change the color is pretty simple just go to effects 
put hue and just drag hue and saturation so you want to change the hue until you've got what you're looking for and mine is about this so just copy the setting and just paste it in the other effect i copied the layer nope just copy this the settings and go in here and paste it all right so now we have that done and that's for the most part the main animation right now but what we can do is add a little bit more effects to the um, to the webcam itself for example we can animate the icons here so what we're going to do is click this layer here the pen behind the anchor point tool and um, we want to put the anchor point in the middle of the icons so if i click on my subscribe icon my anchor points are already in the middle so i won't be needing this but if you ever find yourself with your anchor point somewhere like in the middle of the composition you can use use this tool and drag it to the middle of your icon so what i'm going to do is go to about two seconds click on subscribe and donate and just check the 3d box for both of these and when i've done that i just want to click r keyframe the y rotation on both of them go to about three seconds and just put one next to y rotation so now they will rotate they will do a rotation just let that render now you can see the um, the effect that i'm talking about uh for one second right here all right and you can easy ease this these but i prefer not to do it because then yeah i just prefer the effect being plain like this so now we can go back to fit and you can see they rotate now this one doesn't really look good rotating in the same direction so what i can do is the donate on the second keyframe instead of one i can just put negative one so it will rotate in the other direction all right so now that we have that that's about it for the animation of the mascot and um, you can be creative and add some little more some more effects and everything you want but these are just the basics of uh, what you can do and the dots here what we can do on them is just add a little bit of glow so if you go in effects and presets put glow and you can see that they all light up so you want what you want to do is at zero frames keyframe the glow intensity to zero and go to one keyframe the glow intensity to two and at about 115 keyframe the glow intensity to zero and now what we have is as the electricity goes down these will glow and then when it's over it will just go so yeah that's about it for the tutorial if you have any questions you can ask them either in the comments or on my twitter my social medias will be linked in the description if you want any more tutorials feel free to ask in the comments or on twitter and uh yeah that's for it thank you guys for watching see you next time